Hi viewers, in this video, we will discuss how to print right sided triangle pattern using python coding. Let us consider right triangle that contains only stars. The number of rows and the number of columns are 5 cross 5. The first line is started with the empty space. At last, one character is printed. The second also started with the empty space. At last, two characters are printed. Similarly, in third line, fourth line. In last line, all five stars are printed. Let us analyze the given pattern. It has two triangles. First one is decreasing triangle with space. For better visualization and understanding, instead of empty space, an underscore symbols are used. Second one is increasing triangle with stars. Look at the given pattern. The order of the first triangle is 4 cross 4. Now let us see the same pattern with different order here the order is 6 cross 6 decreasing triangle and increasing triangle the order of the decreasing triangle is 5 cross 5 and the order of the increasing triangle is 6 cross 6 in general if the order of the pattern is n then the order of the decreasing triangle pattern is n minus 1 with empty space the order of the increasing triangle is n with characters here n is the order of pattern Consider three for loops, outer for loop with a range 1 to n plus 1 and two inner for loop. First inner for loop is having a range a to n. The print function with empty space and end attribute is used. The inner for loop is made as a function of outer for loop based upon the value of outer for loop. The first inner loop will be iterated. An inner loop is responsible for producing empty character in the output. Second inner for loop is having the range 1 to a plus 1. The print function with star and end attribute is used. The inner for loop is made as a function of outer for loop. Based upon the value of outer for loop, the second inner for loop will be iterated. The inner second for loop is responsible for generating characters in the output. Empty print function so as to start printing the stars or any characters in the new line after completing the inner for loops. Step by step, we we'll look how the execution will proceed. Consider n as 5. Outer for loop will have the range 1 to 6. Iterate 5 times. Outer for loop decides a number of rows to be printed. Hence, we are going to get output in 5 lines. During the first iteration of outer for loop, the value of a will be 1. The first inner for loop will have the range 1 to 5 and it will iterate 4 times. During each iteration, one empty space is printed in the first line. At the end of the inner for loop, 4 empty spaces are printed in the first line. The second inner for loop will have the range 1 to 2 and now it will iterate only for one time hence one star will be printed at the end of the first line after that an empty print function is executed the cursor will enters into the new line the execution will goes to outer for loop the value of a is incremented by one and now the value of a will be two the first inner loop will have the range two to five it will iterate three times during each iteration one empty space is printed in the second line at the end of the inner for loop three empty spaces are printed in the output. The second inner for loop will have the range 1 to 3. This will iterate for two times. During each iteration, one star will be printed. After an empty print function is executed, the cursor will enter into the new line. Now the execution will goes to outer for loop and the value of a is incremented by 1 and now the value of a will be 3. The first inner for loop will have the range 3 to 5 and it will iterate only for two times. During each iteration, one empty space will be printed in the output. Second inner for loop will have the range 1 to 4. It will iterate for three times. During each iteration, one star is printed. And after completing the second inner for loop, three stars will be printed in the output. Next, an empty print function is executed and the cursor will enter into the new line. Now the execution will goes to Outer for loop, the value of a is incremented by 1 and now the value of a will be 4. First inner for loop will have the range 4 to 5. It will iterate only for one time. One empty space will be printed in the output. Second inner for loop will have the range 1 to 5. It will iterate for 4 times. During each iteration, 
one star will be printed in the output at the end of the second inner loop iteration four stars will be printed now empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line now the execution will goes to outer for loop the value of a will be incremented by one now the value of a will be five the range of first inner for loop is five to five hence it will not iterates the range of second inner for loop is 1 to 6 it will iterate for 5 times during each iteration one star will be printed in the output at the end of the inner for loop iteration five stars are printed in the output next an empty print function is executed the cursor will takes the new line and finally you are going to get this output now let us take a one more right sided triangle pattern instead of stars a number is used in a first line you have one digit that is number one in a second line you have two digits that is two in a third line you have three threes in a fourth line you have four fourths in a fifth line you have five fives and similarly you have five columns the analysis of the pattern will remain same as discussed before you have to treat this as a two triangle decreasing triangle with space and increasing triangle with the numbers here n is the order of the pattern for this we need to consider three for loops one outer for loop with a range 1 to n plus 1 and two inner for loops the only difference between the previous and this one instead of taking star here we consider the variable a step by step we will look how the execution will proceeds consider n as 5 the outer for loop will have the range 1 to 6 it will iterate for 5 times outer for loop decides the number of rows to be printed hence we are going to get output in 5 lines during the first iteration of outer for loop the value of a will be 1 the first inner for loop will have the range 1 to 5 and it will iterate 4 times during each iteration one empty space is printed in first line at the end of the inner for loop four empty spaces are printed in the first line the second inner for loop will have the range 1 to 2 and now it will iterate only for one times hence one digit that is number one dead at the end of the first line next an empty print function is executed and the cursor will move to the second line the execution will goes to first line the value of a is incremented by one now the value of a will be two the range of b will be two to five it will iterates for three times during each iteration one empty space will be printed in the output the second inner for loop will have the range one to three and now it will iterate for two times during each iteration one digit will be printed in the output at the end of the second iteration two twos will be printed in the second line next an empty print function is executed the cursor will enters into the third line now the execution will goes to outer for loop the value of a is incremented by one now the value of a will be three first inner for loop will iterate for two times during each iteration one empty space will be printed and after completion of inner for loop two empty spaces will be printed in the third line second inner for loop will iterate for three times during each iteration one digit will be printed in the output at the end three threes will be printed next an empty print function is executed and the cursor will goes to the fourth line now the execution will goes to outer for loop the value of a is incremented by one now the value of a will be four first inner for loop will iterate for one time and one empty space will be printed in the fourth line second inner for loop will iterate for four times during each iteration one digit is printed and after completing the second inner for loop four fours will be printed in the output next an empty print function is executed and the cursor will take the new line and now the cursor will move to the fifth line execution will goes to outer for loop the value of a is incremented by one now the value of a will be five now the range of b is five to five hence it will not iterate c will be one to six it will iterate for five times during each iteration the digit five will be printed at the end of all five iterations five digits will be printed in the output next an empty print function is executed the cursor will take the new line and this is the final output we will get after the completing the entire execution